Hello, and welcome to Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute School of Engineering. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute has a long, proud, and storied history in engineering. Indeed, our School of Engineering is the oldest engineering school in the English-speaking world. Currently, we have 11 engineering programs which are accredited, and I would like to take a few minutes to introduce you to the engineering programs we have associated with aeronautical and aerospace engineering. My name is Kurt Anderson, and I'm a professor of aerospace and mechanical engineering at Rensselaer. And before I came to Rensselaer, I spent about a dozen years working in the aerospace industry on multiple large rockets and a number of large complex spacecraft, including the International Space Station. So when one talks about aeronautical and aerospace systems, one may be talking about a number of things. These could be fixed wing aircraft, rotorcraft and helicopters, rockets and rocket engines, or spacecraft in their many form. All of these are types of aerospace and aeronautical engineering systems. So what is aeronautical engineering? What is aerospace engineering? How are they different? Well, with regard to aeronautical engineering, you tend to use the aerodynamic laws associated with lift and drag to design an aircraft to fly in a sustained, control, and safe manner. You would do airframe design to consider how air would flow around the fuselage, over the wings, and into the engine intakes. You would use air vehicle flight mechanics to design an aircraft to be sure that it performs as it should. Your aircraft propulsion would be air breathing propulsion, usually jet engines, turboprops, or some form of propeller drive. When designing an aircraft, usually you consider safety, cost, reliability, and performance in that order. When designing an aircraft also, you tend to emphasize high strength to weight ratios with high fatigue life. This is because these aircraft systems are usually designed to serve for multiple tens of thousands of hours. In aerospace engineering, things are a little different. The focus here is on delivering a payload successfully to or through space. You do airframe design, but usually it's in the context of rockets. The propulsion is rocket propulsion, the mechanics are orbital mechanics, and the dynamics usually have to do with spacecraft attitude dynamics and control. You must also consider space environments. Space is a nasty place. There are many extremes. It's extremely cold, it's very, very hot, and you have high radiation environments. When designing a aerospace system, usually you emphasize performance first, then reliability, cost, and safety. It's not the safety isn't important, but most aerospace systems are not for human flight. Finally, the designs tend to be frequency driven. This is because the harshest part of the mission is often the launch phase, and so a great deal of effort goes into getting the spacecraft or the rocket to simply survive launch. So here at Rensselaer, we have three different tracks for an aero degree. The first of these in aeronautical engineering is the fixed wing air vehicle track. Here you work on fixed wing air vehicles, which may be jet engine, turboprop, or unmanned drone. The next is our rotocraft. This involves helicopters, less traditional tilt rotor vehicles, such as the V-22 Osprey shown here and multi-rotor drones. Finally, in aerospace, the focus can be on rockets, such as the SpaceX Falcon 10 or the Atlas V I have shown here, or less traditional designs such as that shown that's being pursued by Stratolaunch. Or we may be talking about spacecraft systems in all of their forms which can range from the very, very large, such as the International Space Station, or the James Webb Space Telescope, which came out of this, or is coming out of the same group that I used to work with at Northrop, to the very, very small, here, CubeSats, and everything in between.
If you should have any question about the Arrows programs at RPI, our curriculum, our courses, our research, please feel free to contact me at the information shown. We look forward to seeing you here.